Hey, YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. Look at this. We've got some amazing 124th monster trucks here. Absolutely gorgeous, super detailed. Yes, you do have to put your own decals on, but they're water decals. Look how sweet this is. We've got two of them today. Obviously, camera crew, if you could squish the tires for us, that'd be great. Super we got squishy. super squishy. We've got suspension. We've got full-time four-wheel drive. We have high-low speed, and we basically have lights on off and basically just gorgeous looking and fast little 124 scale trucks. So we're going to drive them for you right now, and they definitely do monster truck things, which is super fun. So we're going to drive it over here. My son is driving, and he's going to go where I go. And basically, as you can see, we're already making our way down this rough patch, which we normally would be getting stuck all over ourselves here. As you can see, there's absolutely no problem getting over all this. So these things are smashers, not just crawlers. Now I'm gonna go into low speed here. And if you switch on channel three, you can go into low speed and look at the crazy, oh my Man. goodness, the hand of God is already coming into play super windy today so we're basically doing the best we can and i've got a wire that popped out from under the hood you do have to take the top off to actually do your batteries so just keep that in mind now i'm going to come up here on the flat and just show you here's the full speed as you can see for a 124 that thing cruises and i don't want to get into the water just quite yet because it is possible we could cause some issues so i want to stay out of the water they have some waterproofness, but I, I don't want to test that theory. Oh yeah, we're doing flips. These FMS cars have been totally amazing. You know what? We're going in the water. We're doing it. Okay, so we're going to just bring it over here. Camera crew, why don't you get up there close so you can see what's going on. So we're just gonna drive it in here. I don't wanna go too fast. I don't know how deep it is. It looks like it's pretty deep. Oh yeah, that is so sweet. That's great. We finally had a little bit of rain and these trucks do just amazing. The terrain is no match for these things. And obviously you saw the way that they did on the grass. So if they can do good on this tall, crazy grass camera crew, you are literally in the path I'm gonna take. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get out of the dreaded ditch. Oh, come on, you can do it, Bigfoot. You know you can, yes! That is like one of the first crawlers that made it out. And then check this out. Okay, so slam the brakes on and she'll do it all. Look at that, oh yeah, tail drags. <laughs> that is so sweet. And then right down the hill. And it doesn't even care. So as you can see, they do just fine. And they are super fast. You don't have to go fast though. You can go really slow, good proportional controls, which is what we've come to expect from these FMS crawlers. And just absolutely gorgeous. No brake lights on these, unfortunately. But as I said, you can turn the lights on and off. There's about five different modes, but we are only taking advantage of two of them, which is on and high beams. And yes, my wire is sticking out the bottom, but you can easily tuck those so that they don't stick out like that. Let's go into the water up here. We're gonna go off the cliff into the water. Are you ready for this high speed action sequence, camera crew? <laughs> sure. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that's some deep water. I don't really think we're supposed to go through water, but we're doing it anyway for you guys, YouTube. So if you're looking for an ultra fun 124th, these things are a blast. Definitely highly recommend it. And I'm gonna go ahead and drive. Let's see if we can make it up to me over here. Okay. Oh boy, watch out for the hill though. I gotta, I gotta be careful. Oh man, that's just outside of the reach. We're gonna, we're gonna do it, uh-oh. Uh-oh, already crashed there, did you? Oh geez, don't step in the mud. <laughs> the, the crawlers can get in the mud, but we can't. We had rain all day yesterday, folks, and it has made a huge mess of this area, which is perfect for crawlers.
And as you can see, you finally get a little bit of speed with these, being that they're actually a basher. Let's see if we can get a shot of them both going through the water here. That is so cool. And again, I wouldn't go crazy in the water because I don't know the waterproofness, but we have had mixed results with the cars. Some of them do okay. Others don't do so good. And uh, they'll get problems after they kind of get wet. So I try not to go on the water generally as a rule. Okay, bringing it over here. What an amazing job. That's actually a tough hill to get up it really because is. once you get up into that steep stuff, it just doesn't always do so good. But man, what a sweet ride. And I just want to show you this, this battery wire that's, that's poking out. It's definitely something that can be tucked in. And for whatever reason, we actually had those pulled to the side so we could quickly and uh, disconnect them. This whole top comes off two tabs here, two tabs here, and we're gonna show all that in the Unbox Build Radio setup. But definitely check out the Max Smasher from FMS. Absolutely amazing, super fun. This is probably one of the most fun that we've had so far and is definitely amazing. Makes me remember my childhood with Bigfoot and definitely love all these cars have been super fun from FMS for different reasons but I definitely think this is one of the more capable and it's gonna get you up and down and in and out of the tight spots that you wanna be in. And so I would highly recommend getting this one as a gift for Christmas if you're looking for ideas. There are brakes, so you can take the steep hills, you can go slow, and yes, you can switch into low gear like I just did, and you can really go into crawl oh, yeah. mode. Yeah. And the crawl mode really works nicely especially when doing descents that are steep and slick. So definitely, I mean, you can really, really control what you're doing with these things. And I uh, gotta say, FMS, great work with this one. Definitely like the fact that you can turn off and go fast too, which makes for a whole lot more exciting experience. And folks, for the record, this is a rough area. It is not smooth. It may look kind of smooth, but it's really just not. amazing so what do you think camera crew i think they're super cool they're very capable yeah one of the most capable ones we've seen and i think the nice thing is with the fms stuff they've been there's more replacement part options and stuff this comes with a few yeah it a comes few with things yep some of the gear sets and stuff you so can i, I feel you like can, if you're looking for christmas gift ideas this i'd one probably is, get one ordered yeah and I think it's going to be good for, you know, younger-ish kids too, a little more capable, a little more exciting. Yeah, because it does the fast, but then it's not just like technical climbing. Right, and you it's can... not super huge. If you're trying to store it in a smaller area, it's, yep. it's and, capable, but not gigantic. And plus, you're not going to tend to damage your furniture and walls and stuff with the smaller vehicles yep. to the same extent that you might destroy, um, you know, like a bigger car is going to be more damaging to the inside of your house if you're driving around inside but just look at these things they're super fun and i can't wait to get my hands on the next ones i would love to see this in a bigger scale but this 124th is just super fun and really does the trick and also as you can see we've showcased it in both the blue and the white and they're both available with totally different decals they are water decals and there's about 30 or 30 or 40 yeah. of each, and it does take a pretty fair amount of time to go ahead and get those all stuck on. But definitely worth it. We were debating uh, when we first opened them up, and we found that they just look so much cooler when you put the decals on. Um, but there's it's tedious, it's a lot of them. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna unbox and uh, build this thing, which uh, entails putting stickers on, but really super fun. The only thing you gotta provide is four double A, excuse me, four triple A's mm -hmm. uh, for the transmitters. And then don't forget to set your dual rates on the steering all the way up if you wanna be able to really turn sharp. So awesome product from FMS, check it out guys. And if you wanna help support Brian Phillips RC, like the video, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, but most of all, buy the amazing products when you see them here on Brian Phillips RC from the links. And you can also go to www.brianphillipsrc.com and you can see a plethora of sorting of thousands and thousands of videos. So we hope you'll be back because there's so much more to come on Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching guys.
YouTube, Brad Phillips. Look what we got here. We got a smaller box. This one doesn't look like it has wings. Let's open it up. You may have already figured out what this is from watching us drive it for the last 20, 30, 15 minutes, seven minutes, whatever it was. <laughs> but we are gonna open it now. In reverse order, oh my goodness, it's huge. What is this thing? This is the Max Smasher 124th FCX24, which Whoa. looks like it's something different and new. That's because it is. It is a new release from FMS, so we're super excited to be bringing you this. I'm not sure what's in here, so I have to double check. Oh, it looks like we got some decals in here. They had mentioned something about some decals that you can put on there. And it shows, oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. So you can put the decals however you want on there, oh, which is kind of nice. Schemes. So this comes in a couple of different color schemes and this one must be the blue one. And it says Max Smasher on there. So it's got like a little gearbox on each of the wheels. There's a blue and a white. Looks like we have the blue. So we're gonna go ahead and open this right now and see how it unboxes for you. And we're gonna do a couple of the decals. After a minute, I believe they're water transfer decals. So we'll show you how to do that. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Okay, so this one does not come in a super, super fancy um, reusable case. I mean, you can obviously reuse this, but it's more conventional foam, it looks like, rather than the really high quality gray stuff. Although this feels, yeah, this is okay still. Oh yeah, look at that little cute thing. That is so sweet. It's really small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna yeah. be. But this is a 124th scale and it's heavy. Goodness gracious, feel it. For how, for how oh, big wow. it is, I didn't think it would be that heavy. Mm -hmm. And then look at that. Wow. Oh, that is so sweet. Gotta love the squishy tires. Love the chrome, so yeah. cool. Then obviously we've got the uh, artificial light bar. I don't know if that's a real light bar. If that's a real light bar, that'd be super, super cool, but I don't think it is. We'll find out here in a few minutes. And then it looks like underneath, we've got the huge, wow. huge throw <laughs> on the front suspension and rear suspension. Uh, looks like we've got a uh, real true four wheel drive, which is pretty sweet. Differentials on front and back. And then we've got the brushed motor down here and then a selectable gear selector. I don't know if that's for high, low or two wheel drive, four wheel drive. We did miss that on one we did recently. There was supposed to be a two wheel drive feature and four wheel drive. Pulled my little protective thing off of that. Well, I'll never find that again. Off of the cover for the windscreen. And then we've got the regular pistol grip style that we're used to on the transmitter. And then don't forget, you've got your steering dual rate, so you'll want to turn that up when you get ready. And uh, no texture, this is just, just a plastic texture, but no, no foam on the steering wheel. We've come to find that kind of helpful. Channel four, channel three here, it looks like one, two, three settings on the channel three. And then of course a lanyard point. We never use the lanyards on these ones. We do on an aircraft, but not on the Crown vehicles. And then what comes in the bag is, should be the run of mill stuff, but it looks like we have some snap rings in here. What are those? I wonder what those are for. I don't know, we'll have to look into that because that looks like it could be important. Holy cow. There's like a bunch are of those O-rings? There's a bunch of O-rings in there. I'm not sure why they sent O-rings. And then there is <clears throat> some spare parts in this. It looks like a gear set. So that's kind of cool. And then it came with this really heavy tool and you pass a screwdriver through there and then this allows you to reach into the deep well of the of the wheel so that's pretty cool i don't know if they were listening to me complain about that but the standard tool that they send with these things which is this thing doesn't work very good and so they have adapted a new tool feel how heavy that is oh wow it's like that's solid crazy. steel so i don't know what the heck is going on there it's not aluminum it's steel um so we'll keep those things in a safe spot now one thing we found that works really nice is if you have a lot of different cars, make sure you write a label on here so you know which one goes to which car because some of the gear ratios are gonna be a little different and some are not, so it just depends. Okay, so in this bag, this is our conventional stuff. We're up to about 3,000 of these things now. So these, these are just a metallic nut driver with multiple sizes, but as you can see, the well is so deep you can't use it on this particular vehicle. So I think it's a little strange that they included that but then we have our run of the mill charger here, which says USB input five volts at up to two amps. 
and the output is 7.4 volts at 1,000 milliamp hours. So that means we have a 2S battery here. So that's pretty exciting. Obviously 2S is gonna produce a little bit more voltage. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we've got going on here. It looks like there's definitely lights on the front. Or wait, where is the battery? Do you even pop the hood on this one? I can't even tell. Oh, thanks. Oh. There's actually a power cord down here, so I don't know if the hood even opens. How does this work? We haven't seen this one yet, so it's like brand new for us. Oh wait, does it go in here? That's so weird. How does this work? We've had very few cars where the top comes off, but there's definitely access down here and they usually put the, the battery inside. And so we might actually have to consult the manual for a minute. Oh, so we're gonna do that real quick and come right back. All right, so we did figure out a few things real quick. We found the manual was underneath in the box. We missed it when we unboxed uh, because it was just set on the bottom underneath and outside of the actual retail packaging. So <laughs> it just, I threw the box on the ground and it was sitting there. So it looks like this. Um, on page 14, it shows how to remove the top half. And so you don't have a folding uh, bonnet, if you will, or hood. It actually, the whole top comes off. So we're gonna get in that in just a second. But for now, we're gonna get our not provided USB charger. We're gonna plug that in and we're gonna get this thing ready to rock and roll. And then while we're also between steps, we're going to go ahead and get the radio ready to go. So this is a 2S battery and I'm assuming it's the same as the others. Now, when you're loading these not provided triple A's, just remember that the plus goes over here, points up towards you. And then the minus points up towards you uh, when viewing it from the bottom like this. And then when you close this, it slides over and then the thing will either be on or off. And then just note that these lights will kind of blind you. So if you're having trouble reading the labels, shut off the power and then you can see really good what's going on as compared to that bright light. It makes it so I can almost never actually read what it says. So we'll get back to that in a minute now that it's set up. <clears throat> now we've got all these stickers and decals and they suggest where they would go if you want to put them on in a particular order, you can do that. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how to take off the top. So on the top, with it upside down in your hand, there's this and this, they squeeze inward and then the frame, the body will release, see? So I'm just going to squeeze inward right here and then just lift the body out. There it goes guys, pretty simple. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all, in fact. Mm -mm. So keep in mind that you do want to be careful when you do that, that you don't break your tabs. If you break your tabs, it's kind of a one and done thing. You're going to have to replace some components at that point. Okay, so now you can see right here, we have the FMS controller board, which is pretty sweet. And it looks like we do have lights on the front. I don't see any lights on the tail, but we do see where the battery would go in. So what we're going to do is we're going to Go ahead and show you how this works. There's two rubber bands that hold down your battery and they're strapped all the way around. So if those fail, then you can do, there's a little hook point here. See right where my pinky is? That is a singular O-ring that goes all the way across and that's what holds your battery, which is a 7.4 volts, 380 milliamp hour, 2S LiPo. So camera crew is gonna slide that in. There's a flashing light that will start up as soon as you actually insert this. Now it is keyed, so you can only go one way. If you try to go the other way, it won't work, but don't try, because you could potentially get it in there, okay? So there's that, so it's plugged in, that's gonna charge. And then of course, this is the discharge lead, so that's what's gonna get plugged into your vehicle, in this case, the Bigfoot Max Smasher. And what I'm gonna do is now, while we're between steps, I'm gonna take and show you something. Here's a little trick. If you wanna work with this for a little bit, you can actually unplug that right there. See, it's just got one of these micro pH, I believe is what that is, connectors. And that actually can be pushed back in. So if you're wanting to pull this off so you can do decals and just separate it so it's a little easier to manipulate and handle, for instance, while your battery's charging, then that is one way to do it. And that is so sweet. Those tinted windows look so cool. So definitely like the body work on this. Love the metallic look of that blue paint, super gorgeous. Okay, cool. So what we'll do is we'll lay this truck body out of the way. Of course, you can drive it without the top on if you want, but you won't get the benefit of the lights. 
So let's take a look at these decals while we're waiting on the batteries to charge. So we're gonna pop this open here. Comes in a sealed Ziploc style bag. Lay that off to the side. Now, I believe these are wet decals, wet vinyl. Nope, they're just wet. Okay, cool. So there's tape protecting it. Uh, tape and a little piece of wax paper here. Okay, so you can kind of see, looks like these are the words. They're really hard to see. And so when I've done this, I've always used warm water and I use scissors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the exact process live and in charge because that's what we do here at Brian Phillips RC other than, you know, when we get out batteries or we have to pause to take care of family issues and things like this. We pretty much show you what we're doing and we show you in a way that you can follow along. So if you like this type of long format content, make sure you like it by clicking the thumbs up down below. And I'm just gonna grab, actually, you know, a plate might work better than a okay. bowl because we can do that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take hot water. Hot water seems to release the adhesive faster, but just keep in mind, they like to curl. So what I'm gonna do is I'll use a little bit of shallow plate. A bowl's fine too. It's not like a right way to do this versus a wrong way. And I'm just gonna take and put a little bit of water. It doesn't need to be a lot. I mean, it really takes very little water to do this. See, just barely any. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll show you how to do these decals. They're very easy. If you've never done one like this, it's, it's not anything to write home about, but it definitely is a lot harder than just unpeeling a small sticker. Now, the cool thing is you get to slide them into position and they'll stay right where you want, which is cool. Okay, so let's look at a few of these decals. First of all, you wanna pay attention to the side you're working on. So of course, in this case, we're gonna look at this side. So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna, so I don't accidentally make a mistake here. I'm gonna fold up the manual here and just make it so it's really easy to tell what I'm looking at. That is gonna be so dang small, holy cow. That is two, so Max Masher. Okay, so I definitely want, there's one back here that's white, and then there's the white picture, and then there's this one, which is colored. So it's like right there. Looks like this one, it's hard to see on camera, I bet, goes right there. So they're the same left and right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and cut out of the backing. That is definitely this one, okay. So I'm just gonna set that into the water and just kinda, um, Get that so it's submerged fully. I might've gone a little bit low on the water actually, but that's fine. So you can just let that set for a minute. And some people will like to um, transfer them onto a piece of wax paper. I think that's why they provide this wax paper. Um, might also just be a protective measure. And we're not gonna show you doing all of these just because it's not really necessary to do all of them necessarily. If you decide you wanna do all of them, that's pretty sweet but I'm not sure I can tolerate that because there's a ton of these stickers. Little Look. Little tiny ones. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. It's a lot. There's like probably 40 of them in there. Okay, so once that's sat in the water, um, what we're gonna do is I'll take that straight over to the car. I'm just get any drips off of there. And then all you have to do is once it's released, you'll be able to tell because you'll be able to work with it. See how it just slips right off, guys? It's just literally that easy. And then you can lay that off to the side. In my case, I'm gonna just kind of reposition that a little bit with my screwed up thumb. Cool. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, looks really nice. So it might actually, uh, you know, give you a little bit better finish than what you might expect with um, like a vinyl decal because the vinyl decals are so heavy. You know what's funny though, is that we almost never see this on airplanes and this would be perfect for the weight, you know, limitations oh, right. of an airplane. Um, okay, so that looks sweet. Obviously, it really improves the look of it. So we're just gonna keep working down, down the pike and see how long this takes uh, for a handful of them. And I'm just kind of, it's, it's hard to see. All I'm looking for is this like muted differential in color. And remember, I, you don't have to do it like this, but it's way easier if you cut them up like that. Um, and then I'll, I'm actually gonna just tip the plate a little bit just to kind of get a little more depth on the water. Usually I like to let it sit for a minute or so. And what's gonna happen is it's going to release the adhesives and the adhesives work with the water. And then of course you can slide it off. It'll lubricate your sticker and uh, decal, decal. And so then what we can do is, so this, this ends up being a lot like 
Um, I don't know if you guys, oh, that's actually supposed to go on the other side. So I, I grabbed the wrong one. I couldn't really tell because there was no contrast. Um, but this, this one's supposed to go on this side. Cool. Okay, so that's where that goes. And then you can, you can actually reposition those quite a little bit before they will give any problems. So as you can see, it doesn't take very long to do it. It's just more a matter of, um, you know, it's just gonna be a lot of steps. And some people, you know, the white looks good, but it looks like there's a black one too. See, yeah, oh no, that's not black. It's, oh, there is black. Shoot. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I guess I don't know which one I want. Well, I'm gonna do the black. I'll do the white ones here. Is there another spot? I don't know, that's what I was just looking for. They're both white. I wonder huh. if they're, like, if you could put it on the tail or something, we might have to look at that box. Well, it might just be an option too, because- I like the white. I kind of like the white, it's gonna pop. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I bet it is? I bet it's because if you get the white one, they're gonna give you the option. Oh. Cause that's E, E and E and E. So yes. if you had a white truck, you're not gonna wanna use a white backed yep. decal. Okay, right. got it. That all makes sense. So really the biggest mistake I've made so far is uh, getting not enough depth on my water, um, but that's okay. It's nothing can't be fixed. Now, the other thing is if you want to warm up your water and you don't want to have to waste a bunch more, or you've got limited supplies, maybe you had to dump out a bottle of water at the, uh, at the flying field or whatever, you can uh, stick it in the microwave because if you have a microwave, obviously at, at, the, at the flying field. Totally. So, <clears throat> so we're just gonna work our way through this and we probably won't show all of it, but why don't we show three or four more and then we'll just show what it looks like at the end, if that's okay. What okay. do you think, Kim? I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, all right, let's take a look at that. And then what I wanna do is just go to the other side and just look for symmetry. I'm just kind of lining them up with the triangle of the frame up there. And then you'll get some adhesive on your thumb or pointer finger, wherever you're holding these things. So just make sure um, that you're mindful to really get that stuff wiped off so it doesn't stick to another decal. So like that first one you put on, is it dry and done? Um, no, not totally. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a piece of paper towel and oh, the, okay. the paper towel, see the adhesive, if you do it right, will stay behind uh, the decal and it's not going to, it's not going to uh, come off when you dab it because you can dab it with a dry paper towel and that will help kind of set it in place. It's not because it, what it does is it just takes up some of that. See how, see how well that mm -hmm. is now? Isn't that crazy how fast it works? Yeah. I've always been intrigued by that. The only time it's frustrating is when you don't realize that they're wet decals. Right. Uh, then it's really annoying. Okay, so then we'll do the Max Smasher and then we'll do the colored logos on the doors. Then we'll probably bow out on the video now, obviously guys, if you wanna help support our channel and you like watching this long format content, one of the best things you can do is look in the video description below in the YouTube platform. And if you're watching this on other platforms where it's embedded, uh, escape the embedded platform, go over to YouTube and you can see a link down below or you can navigate to brianphillipsrc.com and you can find the same thing. We'll have coupon codes available there and then links to where you can buy these things. Now, of course you can go and navigate and find these without uh, the aid of our links, but the reason you would do that is if you want to help support us financially, we, we make small commissions when you buy through those links. doesn't cost you any more. And then basically they give us a pat on the back for having directed you to this particular item or that particular item. And the cool thing is we work with enough of these companies that we have really no incentive in telling you to buy something that's not good because there's so many of them. We would be fools to direct you into buying something that's crappy. And uh, the truth is we have good relationships with these different vendors, whether it be a distributor, a manufacturer, an online retailer, or even a brick and mortar um, family shop, which we work with all of those things. And we really do enjoy doing that. So one of the things you can do to help us is to just buy from those links. And um, that is how we basically monetize this experience because it is a lot more time intensive than you might recognize from watching a three or four hour video. <laughs> Just kidding guys. If it's a three or four hour video, that's a short one for us. So that looks actually pretty sweet to be honest. I, I wasn't sure what I thought when I saw that number of stickers. I was kind of like, oh my goodness, we're gonna take forever. Which is funny because you always are hesitant to put on all the decals, but then once you put them all on, it does really. 
I know it makes them look so much more realistic. And it's funny because, you know, it's, I think it's just a function of time for us because we've had so many different products that we review. It's like when I see these steps, it's like, to me, it just seems like a chore, but then for you guys, it might be like your favorite part. So I don't want to poo poo it. Um, but at the same time, I actually do kind of find a certain satisfaction from these things because it's really not, it's not like the hardest thing to do by any means. See, like I, I tried pulling that one too early and it didn't work. So sometimes you gotta just let it sit for just a hair longer um, in the water. And it doesn't need to be warm. I just find it, it releases the adhesive quicker. It's definitely cooled down now. Well, I feel like you're really good at super tedious things like this. You, yeah, pain, painfully <laughs> tedious things. Painfully That's tedious. so weird. Yes. I don't know why you would say that. Could be from past experience, maybe from our um, many, many, many years of being married. Oh yeah, Max Smasher. That is sweet. Now the other thing that's cool about this is that you guys get a naked body. Right. Whoa. Just always careful. Careful, camera crew, don't go there. So, and you can dress it however you want or leave it undressed. Mm. So that's one thing that you get. Oh man, that one looks like it's upside down, sweet. So if you guys are into this and you guys want to try one for your very own, I would highly recommend it. FMS makes some really cool, um, some really cool radio controlled cars, aircraft and all sorts of other cool things. I don't think they do helis, but it would be cool if they did. Hmm, sure. I think right now they just do a really good job. The stuff they do, they do, uh, they do a nice job of. And the thing is they keep things economical. And to be honest with you, We've really enjoyed working with FMS. We've been working with FMS for a few years, but we've just started our relationship with them on a direct basis recently, and it's been very fruitful, I think. And I think they're pretty decent people to work with. They really do care about growing the hobby. They want to get people out there flying, and that's one of the big things that we're into. Um, but we recognize that not everybody can fly for a variety of reasons, whether it be um, physical limitations, um, proximity to a flying field, maybe some regulations in your particular area where you live, or maybe just uh, budgetary concerns. But flying radio controlled airplanes is one of our favorite things. That's what we do largely on this channel. And so, of course, we do these Surface Wednesday specials, and we just want to bring you the rest of the hobby because it's something that I enjoyed even before we started our YouTube channel. So it's kind of funny because everybody assumes, hey, Brian Phillips, RC, that guy's going to do airplanes. And the truth is, I love doing airplanes, but I've been doing this stuff my entire life. Um, and actually, I would have loved to be doing airplanes my whole life, but back when I was a kid, they didn't have the technology, um, at least in a, an approachable level. I mean, it was definitely wasn't for a kid. You know, you had right. to basically, your parents would have had to help you because it was so expensive. And there's a lot of things that made it really complicated. It was a lot easier legally, but it was a lot harder on a lot of different practical levels. Okay, so that, that'll give you guys the idea of kind of how to do that. Do you want to do like one super tediously small one? Sure. Yeah, let's show them like let's one. Let's do one that's like thing. really hard and just okay. show them how hard it really is. Okay, so I see that there is like, okay, P appears to be like a bit of a turn signal maybe. P be, being a turn signal. Yeah. I just don't know where P is located on here. Oh, over here. So oh, it'd be like okay, on the okay, so edge. it's like this one. Okay, so okay. it'd be like that one. So then O... P is the front, O is the back. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, so I, I need to take one of these. Now you wanna study this from the side. You can tell where the matte finish is and that's where you wanna cut and avoid cutting through the matte finish. You'll be cutting the decal in that case. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this super small one like this is I'm gonna tip up my plate, get the depth right and just let it work. I'm actually gonna flip it both ways just to kind of hurry it along. Let's see if I can make it fast. And then I don't know if this is going to slide off when it's, when it's a, a decal that's real small, it's sometimes easier if they don't slide around very easy. So you want to let that stuff lubricate less. Okay. And then they tend, you see how that water tension is keep, it's allowing it to move around a lot. So that's one thing you can do is you can, you can transfer it quicker. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to take and try to get that out so that the surface tension breaks. Okay. And then that thing will probably not move unless you take an X-Acto knife and lift it. That does look pretty cool. <laughs> that is sweet. It's so weird. It's such a subtle change. And yet it really does look sweet. 
So really excited. Okay, so now what we're gonna do next is I am going to tediously put these on. We'll probably put some music on that's copyright protected so we can't show it in our video. And we're gonna give you guys a quick look at it when it's all said and done. And then maybe this thing will spontaneously procreate. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out here in a minute. And we hope that you guys will stay tuned so you can see that right before the end of the video. Now, obviously you've seen this run already, so you've seen it at the beginning, but if you're curious about how it looks before we bash them up and smash them up, that's what you wanna stick around for. And also, definitely thanks so much for watching. Click the bell for notifications if you'd like to be notified of new videos here on Brian Phillips RC. We're always doing new content here, I mean always. We're trying to do three video releases per week, and obviously in the long format realm, that is challenging on both myself and the camera crew and the family. Of course, my camera crew is a wonderful wife of many, 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 many years. We were both getting pretty old. <laughs> There's a lot of many. There's, yeah. So we appreciate you being here with us on Brian Phillips RC and appreciate your support as always. Say special thanks to our patrons who uh, support us on a monthly basis. It's super cool and humbling that you guys do that. So thank you if you're one of our patrons. And if you wanna become a patron, we have, one of, uh, we have a link right at the very top of the list and if you're not in a monthly support maybe you got a little extra cash in the budget this month and you want to throw it our way but you don't want to buy an airplane or a car or truck or whatever it is uh, we have paypal down below as well and so definitely do the friends and family if you want the most benefit otherwise they will take their cut just like everybody does so anyway that's all we've got for you definitely best way to support us buy these awesome rc products from our links it doesn't just help with small commissions it helps us to build clout with a community of a um, distributors, hobby shop owners, website operators, and these types of people that have a lot of RC product that they want to bring to market. And if we can help them to sell these things, and we want to help sell the best things, <laughs> then that's how you can pat us on the back. And you'll also be helping to reward the best distributors. And they're the ones that work with us because they let us tell the truth and not all of them will, but believe me. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. So much more to come. We'll give you a clip of this when it's done. Thanks for watching. All right, so three days later, <laughs> just kidding, it wasn't quite that long. If you look close, you can see we've got the decals on the body here. I'll flip it around. And here. And then on the, the actual truck, we went a little extra overboard with a couple extra here and there. Just keep in mind, until they're totally dry, they can peel off pretty easy unless they're big. If they're big, they usually hold on pretty good. And I put the uh, proverbial FMS on the end and up here. Okay, so you may be wondering how you put your battery in. And so we wanted to show that. So this is the way it comes. And we've charged her, so we took it out and took it back in. I found the easiest way to do it was to actually take and pull this to the extent that you can take it off altogether down here and then keep it so that it's crossed still, okay? And then what you can do is you can take your battery. See how that comes off all together? The easiest way I found is to straddle your antenna cable, lay it down just like this, okay? And then wrap that little 3S or 2S connector and then take this O-ring and you have to hook this little lip here, which is, it's not like the most super easiest thing ever and you don't have to do it the correct way. You can do it the incorrect way if you want, which is just over the side like that. And then you just hook under here and you're done. Or if you're really getting ready for some extreme driving, then you should probably go ahead and crisscross the battery like so. And uh, you have to be a little bit careful about your cable management just like that. So it's a little bit of a pain to load the battery, but there again, I think, you know, it's fine. Okay, so we have our transmitter on, uh, which we loaded batteries with earlier. And you have to plug in your battery. I recommend doing it before you put your lid on. You can do that. Okay, so we're gonna look for activity here. And turn this off, turn it back on. There's a switch on the front right. Oh, there's a switch. Push button right there. Okay, so you can tell it's on now. Okay, so we have good operation, everything's running. So now that we know that's running, all you have to do is plug this one wire in, which is, again, not a real hard thing, but you see how there's a little bump towards you, toward the camera? 
you can plug that in right there, okay? And then that plugs in, and then what you can do is you can, before you get it seated, you can test it. One, two, three. So I've got it on high beams. And then I'm just gonna take and tuck all these cables. Real simple. This actually is a lot easier than what I expected it might be. And then I just support kind of with everything but my middle finger there. And then up here on the hood, I just support with everything but the middle finger there. And I'm catching something this time. Oh, I, see, I didn't get lined up. So you do have to watch oh, for that. Yeah. Okay, so the way you line that up, <clears throat> and you can have the back on and not have the front centered. And then I just press here and it snaps right on. And then it's done. And then of course you can, you can drive. Now I'm going really slow, that's about 10% throttle. There is reverse, there is braking, and then there's reverse. Now there's also on channel three here, listen, you hear that servo operate? Then you're out of gear, okay? Then there's another servo operation and that brings you into low gear. So as you can see, it's way slow. So that's, that's full speed reverse, full speed forward, full speed reverse. So you can go really good on the proportional controls. And then I always talk about this in our videos. There is a control that's called dual rates. And this is the steering dual rates, STD slash R, okay? So if you see, when I turn the wheel, you can reduce the amount of output to almost nothing or you can maximize it, okay? So that's all the way, all the way, all the way. So that's always good on these crawlers, except this is not just a crawler, this is a smasher. And you may notice that there are some bananas right there, which is awesome. So obviously we're gonna go right over the bananas and I do like this thing in high speed mode a little bit better. And look what we have here. We have its best buddy hanging out right here, ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go back into high speed. I'm just gonna turn around now. It does have very good proportional controls. Obviously these things are just absolutely gorgeous and they have huge amounts of play and they are powerful enough and I don't wanna lose it off the edge, but you can go backward and you can set it up on its wheels, no problem. Now, just keep in mind when you slam on the brakes, it doesn't have a tendency to do the same thing. So if you wanna do that trick, you have to do it from going forward to backward. Okay, so like that. And then you can set it up on end. Because if you go forward, then it'll break before it goes into reverse. So you're accomplishing this trick by going reverse and then straight into forward because there is no braking effect. It goes straight to forward. So also, these things are quite sturdy. I don't wanna drive it off the edge just because the thing is absolutely gorgeous right now. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'll just go ahead and get up on some banana action there, and then we'll switch over to the, uh, the other option. This is the other color that you can get it in, which is white. We spent a lot of time putting the decals on this one too, which we thought the decals were super cool, a little bit strange coming out of China. <laughs> China. Now I'm gonna turn up my dual rates so that I can actually steer as sharp as possible. And then as you can see, I'm in the high speed mode. So these things are way faster than the average crawler, but they do really well as a crawler because of the ground clearance and because of the squishy tires to the extent that I can just about drive over this spout here. So let's see if I can get it. Even in the high speed mode, you can see it wants to just slip but you can really, you can just grab those knobby tires, hang on to everything, which is super, super cool. And then obviously you can bounce up into the air and do all sorts of fun stuff because it's very, they're very fast. So we're gonna take it on the ground here for just a second and show you carpet action. And you guys have already seen this outside. So yes, they are super fast. And we'll bring it out here next to the uh, cars. So as you can see, it's not, you know, going to damage anything in your house because they are very controllable. And that's one of the things that's nice. You can definitely get up on the tail super easy. You can roll them over super easy. And then once they roll over, of course, you have to write them with the hand of God or the foot of God there. And so it's really fun. And lots of torque, tons of power. Let's see if we can wake up the cat. Wake up, cat. 
Wake up, cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty sweet. So as you can see, these 124s are just amazing, super cool little toy cars. And the thing is, I love the fact that we're getting squishy tires. Now we just got to get these manufacturers to do it on the airplanes. So folks, without further ado, as you know, we love bringing you these awesome cars, trucks, and aircraft on Brian Phillips RC, and definitely put a lot of effort into this. So if you want to help us out, the best thing you can do is if you find something that we've reviewed that you think you can't live without, and if you can't live without this, you're pretty special, then definitely buy these things from the links in the video description below. Look how sweet these trucks are. They are just so much better than what we used to get as kids. And they are really good, really good toys. And I would definitely say if you guys are interested in getting a nice gift for somebody that you care about, look no further than these things because they are sweet. Yeah. Also, I just wanna say, obviously you've already seen it drive outside, but keep in mind, when we get into the fall, especially in central Iowa, I can't speak for everywhere in the country, but we get a ton of wind. And so it's really hard to fly when it's super duper windy. So this is a great pastime when you're grounded because of terrible weather. And we're looking forward to terrible weather for the winter too. Yeah. And I can see with the size of these, just the little bit that you drove in the carpet, the boys are going to have jumps and all sorts of stuff made with blocks and they yeah. can still be inside and play with them. And too, obviously, if you have bananas, big. you got to have bananas sitting around. Yes. And uh, real quick, we'll just payload these things down with like a banana each. Just to show you, they are definitely uh, some capable haulers. They do super good. Oh, he's like, he wants, he rejected his banana. Okay, guess we'll go to your counterpart then. See, see if they, oh, they also <laughs> rejected the banana. I think they just want to play. But guys, definitely super fun here. Definitely check out the Max Smasher in the different colors here from FMS. And we just love bringing you this cool gear. So check it out in the links, buy one for your very own. And if you guys are checking out for coupon codes because you want to save a buck or two, check out brianphillipsrc.com. That's our domain. So you can just go to www.brianphillipsrc.com. That's B-R-I-A-N Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S-R-C.com, which is exactly the same is our YouTube handle. So if you're curious where to find all the action, that's one way you can start, or you can just stay right here on the platform of YouTube and you can search by um, basically any of the product names. We try to name them in uh, popular vernacular so that you can find them. But if you can't find them, you can also go in historical order because there's literally thousands of videos. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the website set up by manufacturer. So if you can figure out what manufacturer it is and you can't remember what the name is, we hope to at some point get something set up where you guys can look by style um, and that's gonna help give an even better way. But we always have playlists at the end of the video that populate the screen and you can click on those and it'll lead you through the entire example of ground vehicles, surface vehicles, you know, e-bikes. Um, you know, sometimes we have like FMS aircraft or Banggood aircraft or whatever it happens to be. We've got that right at the end on the end screens for you to find. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed and click the bell for notification, please do that. Smash a like button. You'll be helping us out tremendously. But really, thanks so much for watching, guys. We appreciate you. World's best audience on YouTube right here on Brian Phillips RC. So much more to come.